While the human toll is most catastrophic, animals in Ukraine are also caught in the crossfire. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Liz Crawford spent the day at Zoo Tampa, where staff has joined in the global effort to help zoos in Ukraine. In the early days of war, some evacuated, some fought, and some made the choice to stay. These Ukrainians are in so much trouble right now, and nobody ever really thinks about the zoos that have to be left behind. A small group of staff at a Kiev zoo stayed back to care for approximately 4,000 animals. Two lions were evacuated after a five-day journey that began with an encounter with the Russian army. They were stopped by the Russian army. The Russian army, they pointed their guns at the carers. They threatened them to kill the animals. And the carers, they said, no, those are on all animals. If you touch the animals, you first have to touch us. So they risk really, literally risk their lives to save the animals. Stories like that struck a chord with zoos around the world. We can't even begin to imagine what those animals are going through. Um, for the staff, I'm sure they're terrified, but their dedication to those animals it's amazing and um, I mean brave doesn't even begin to describe it. Zoo Tampa joined in the global effort to send money and supplies to zoos in Ukraine. It actually goes to supporting the animals um, and supporting those facilities in need. Although what's happening is beyond most of our comprehension, the caregivers here at Zoo Tampa have an idea of what it's like to comfort animals during stressful times. Them staying with their animals doesn't surprise us at all. We are very familiar to that, especially here in Florida. Um, anytime we have major hurricanes, our first thing is making sure the animals are secure. The latest update from the European Association of Zoos and Aquariums said a few animals are being relocated. Plans are also underway should more animals need to evacuate.